Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and to day five of my spring fashion edit. Today is a good one, it's And Other Stories, which you guys know is one of my all-time favorite brands. I'd say probably most of my favorite things in my wardrobe are from And Other Stories. The only thing is, and it's actually something that I really love about the brand, but it makes it difficult during haul week, is they repeat a lot of designs. So they bring a lot of stuff back from last year, the year before, and I actually really like that from a customer perspective because when you see that piece full price on the website or hanging in store it keeps it feeling new to you and I just think it's such a good practice in terms of fashion sustainability because it kind of takes away that weird psychological need we have to always have the latest thing which is great but it makes it really hard when I'm doing hauls because a lot of the stuff is the same and I obviously don't want to repeat myself which I don't think I've done but just in case I'm going to link my past couple of and other stories spring hauls down below in the description box what 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 funny I'll give it to you in a minute, I need to just finish the segment. In case there was anything that you regretted not getting last year or there's nothing particularly in this haul that you love and you want to see more, there's kind of a good chance that some of the stuff from those hauls will still be available. Cinderella's come to help, so let's get started. Okay guys, first of all we have this outfit which I was so excited to try on when I saw this on the website I thought it looked so beautiful it's actually a two-piece so it's a top and a skirt cord and it's not what I expected I I don't hate it but I the way I envisioned it was not like this at all it said that it was a crop top and for me like my definition of a crop top this is not this goes like past the belly button which to me is not cropped cropped is like waist upwards I think so I kind of expected the bottom of the top to sit just above the top of the skirt maybe even a little flash of skin just to show that it was actually a two-piece but this top actually like tucks into the skirt which kind of makes it look like a dress which kind of bugs me and I'll tell you why um I don't know if you guys can see like the way I've had to tuck this top in it just looks a little bit messy it looks a little bit bunched I've done my best to tuck it in nicely but the nature of the fabric which by the way I love fabric's amazing it's so structured and stiff and thick like my perfect fabric but it really doesn't tuck very well so it just looks nowhere near as nice as it could be if it was just one piece and I just think either make it look like a top and a skirt or if it's gonna look like a dress anyway just make it a dress and I'm kind of annoyed because either way I know that I would have tried this on and just fallen in love with it because honestly I love everything about this the color is just beautiful it's like the pure Cinderella blue it's so sumptuous and feels so luxurious it has a very subtle sheen to it as well which is very pretty the top is so amazing I love the thick halter straps and this big statement bow on the bust like it's so so cute I definitely could have sized down in both of these pieces though I just went for my usual size which is a 36 and they both um, feel a little bit too big so this definitely runs up and the skirt is incredible oh sorry Cindy oh look it's Cinderella and Cinderella so this is the skirt it's magnificent it is so full and structured it's everything I love um, it has like two tiers and it has like really nice pleats in the bottom it's so stunningly beautiful that it makes me even more cross that in my opinion this just hasn't been done properly like I would honestly consider buying this and taking it to a tailor and asking them to like stitch it all together properly and actually I still think my preference would have been a little crop top so you could see a little bit of waist and then have the skirt I think that would have looked the nicest I'm gonna have to hold it at the back but oh my gosh like to me that looks so much better that looks stunning I'm gonna have to hold it in place but just look at that I'm sorry does that not just look so much better to you to me this outfit is now perfect like why could it not have just been like this I'm so cross but I still might keep it honestly because it's just so pretty let me know what you guys think next up I have this little dress which do you know what this looked so like unassuming on the website and I just ordered it because I thought the fabric was so pretty it's like a white cotton but it has all of these um applique flowers and leaves so it's a little bit three-dimensional I'll try and show you a little bit closer can you guys see how beautiful the fabric is but actually the dress itself kind of looked a bit boring it looked a bit um like it would just kind of hang off you like it didn't have much shape but now I've got it on I absolutely love it it's so so pretty so it's actually got these two little um ties here and I'm just going to show you how um, I first put the dress on because the tie was very very loose it gives the dress an entirely different look when you don't cinch the waist in it's kind of more of a smock dress and you know what you guys know I normally do like an accentuated 
unwanted waste but I actually think the dress looks really pretty like this it's just so super relaxed and casual and whimsy it totally has that expensive luxe boho look this would definitely be a dress that I'd wear one of my Chloe bags with oh my gosh just look how cute all of these bags look with this dress the vibes are spot on I actually adore this dress and I was not expecting to at all like I thought it was pretty and I liked the fabric but actually I love it so much and I think I kind of prefer it with the waist not cinched in weirdly let's try tightening this drawstring one more time it looks really pretty both ways and I like that there's more than one way to wear the dress and I also feel like you could um push these sleeves up so they're kind of like three quarter sleeves but they're elasticated so you can kind of turn them into short sleeves like this which is really cute again I think I prefer them longer um but it just gives a bit of versatility with the dress which I think is really fun but you know what guys I think I actually prefer the dress with the sleeves down and the waist let out which is crazy for me that's literally crazy talk for me you guys know I'm obsessed with the waist I just think it looks more chic this way it's so relaxed and so low effort but so beautiful as well like I actually love this dress so much I really really want it how on earth am I going to choose what to keep by the end of this week like I have no idea next up we have this super cute little pink floral dress I actually really really like this I tried one on very very similar to this last haul week and I actually kept it and I just didn't wear it at all because I just didn't feel comfortable in it I think it was the fabric it was like linen or linen blend but just the way that it kind of sat on the body it wasn't like nice and seamless weirdly um, and it kind of bothered me and put me off wearing it so this is actually like I'd say not as nice a fabric as linen like it's very thin it's viscose so it doesn't feel as nice to the touch like it feels a little bit synthetic but actually on the body it just sits a lot nicer than the linen dress did I think it just is it's just cleaner but anyway the dress itself I think is super super pretty um sorry Cindy I'll just straddle Cinderella <laughs> So this is the length, it's a midi, loads of character development from Freddie this week, trying on so many midi dresses. I didn't actually mean to try on a load of midi dresses this week, it was just um, because there was like a distinct lack of cute minis, so I just ended up ordering a bunch of midi dresses, which is kind of nice because it makes a change, and I actually really like this, I think it's so pretty, it's just easy to wear, it's super girly and feminine and classic. I love the bust and the neckline and the cute little sleeves, it's just all of the details, it's so classic, it's the kind of dress that is not really going to go out of style they have been doing this style of dress for like so many years now and I actually love it I think it's exceptionally um flattering I really do I just think it looks really nice on it's flattering it's classic and pretty and girly like honestly what more could you want <laughs> Ooh la la guys, this is a little bit fun and different. I very nearly didn't order these two pieces and I thought, you know what, let's just do it because even if they're not nice, it's fun to try stuff on and some things that are a little bit different. I mean, colour palette wise, it's obviously very much in my comfort zone, but in terms of the actual pieces themselves, they're not things that I would typically order. So let's start with the skirt. The skirt is very cute. I think fit wise, it's just not for me. Like, I think this is my correct size because any bigger than this, then it would honestly be hanging off but it's just very very tight and you guys know it's just not the kind of style that I like to wear because I just feel not comfortable I feel a bit self-conscious and exposed but I also don't feel physically comfortable like you can't really move in a skirt like this it's so restricting so it's probably not something I'd want to keep which is a shame because I love the fabric it's a floral jacquard fabric which I love very very similar to my Eloise dress except because this has metallics in it just feels like a bit scratchy whereas this is nice and soft but I just love the colors so much like the gold and the champagne gold it's so so cute and I'm just gonna move around a bit so you can see how like the light reflects and it's a bit shimmery and fun the blouse on the other hand I absolutely love it's so so pretty um it's not my favorite neckline I think I talked about this in H&M haul I do kind of have an issue with these like straight necklines I just don't think they do very much for me personally I used to I've just really gone off them recently I don't know why um so the neckline for me I'm just like I would genuinely love this more if it just had like a little bit of a high neck the fabric is beautiful it's the softest silkiest satin like it's honestly stunning and I love the color this like buttery ivory 
so so pretty and then of course the showstopper is this incredible corsage on the shoulder oh my gosh you know me guys I just love anything three-dimensional in clothes and that is so subtle but it's so there as well and I just think it's beautiful also the sleeves are gorgeous and also like the design at the top it kind of has like a cowl it's like a cowl neck without being like a full-on cowl neck but you can kind of see the draping in the design it's just so subtle but it looks so elegant it's also got padded shoulders which I don't think you can really tell um, the shoulders don't look that accentuated I think it's quite subtle but all together I just think this blouse is beautiful like beyond stunning I really really want to keep it because I feel like I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe but I just kind of need to check that I've actually got things that I would be able to pair with this because I think it's so pretty and like such a classic I can see myself wearing this until I'm like until I die oh my gosh I just I just can't another absolutely stunning dress I actually love this so much it's so so pretty maybe this is character development maybe I am getting into my longer dresses I definitely prefer longer lengths in spring summer than winter this is so beautiful I just love how simple it is like it's the most simple dress in the world but it looks so stunning and elegant and feminine and like pure like an angel the square neckline and the frill on the sleeves like it's just everything I also love how high up the neckline is it feels quite high compared to some of the other stuff I've tried on this week and I really really like it I also love this little like fake corset detail I just think it makes it look really really flattering um the only thing that's super annoying is this lining oh sorry burn oh give mommy a kiss I love you more than anything in this whole wide world it's just not a good look I mean it's not something that would stop me having it because at the end of the day not all clothes are perfect except flossy dresses I still think it's so beautiful and if I saw a girl wearing this at like a garden party or just out and about I wouldn't be like ew look at the lining it's shorter than the dress but anyway let's move on and be positive because I actually do love the dress so much I think it's the most classical feminine elegant it's like youthful but mature at the same time it's timeless here is the length very gorgeous I guess maybe if I was being really picky I'd like to have the little slit in the dress that the pink one had but I don't think it's essential I just think it's stunning and I think it's the kind of dress that everyone would look lovely in and you could dress it up and down wear it for daytime wear it for occasions guys I don't think I have wanted to keep so many things from haul week in such a long time and I'm actually stunned because when I was shopping I was so nervous that I would have enough for good videos um and I'm just so pleasantly surprised by so many things I really really love this dress let me know what you think oh, thank goodness guys thank goodness there's finally something that I don't like <laughs> This dress is fine, like there's nothing wrong with it, but there's also nothing right with it either. There's no cute details, like the sleeves are nice, but it's kind of just like wearing a potato sack, to be honest. There's just like nothing about this dress at all. And it's so funny because we've tried on some stuff this week that have been so, so simple. And I've been like, oh my God, I can't believe how much I love this when it's like so simple and basic. But sometimes it just works and the beauty is in the simplicity, but sometimes there's no beauty in simplicity at all. And you just look like you are, you know a little Victorian child in the workhouse need I say anything else it's just a little bit boring I mean it has a cute neckline cute sleeves I actually like the color but I kind of don't feel like it works with linen it just looks a little bit too like a sack <laughs> the fits just really bland and boring like the whole dress um, I will say it's a good length they've done a really nice mini length that's not too short but it's not even the kind of dress that I'm like oh just throw this on on an off day like it's not even worthy of that this dress to me was just a waste of fabric um so let's just let's just move on so I know you guys like it when I try on things a little bit different and out of my comfort zone so I ordered this cool jumpsuit it's so not me but also very me at the same time like I do not do jumpsuits that is just not a thing in my life I never do jumpsuits but I feel like if I was going to do a cool jumpsuit then actually it probably would be this one it's actually really really cute though like not the kind of thing that I would wear I don't think but it really is lovely it's like a white denim um, but it's super super feminine it has these gorgeous just big puff sleeves with a little frill and I love that they've done this with denim because denim just like holds its shape so well so you really get that structure which you know I love so this is the bottoms and I, I'm not sure if I like the straight cut 
of the trousers. Like, I think maybe it would be cuter if they were a bit flared, maybe? Do you know what it actually reminds me of? That scene in Mamma Mia 2 when Donna is shopping with Sam and he picks out the little dress and he's like, this would look lovely on you. And she's like, you don't know me at all, do you? <laughs> so cute. I just don't think I would wear it, like realistically, if I kept this and put it in my wardrobe, it's one of those things that I just know would never get worn. But if this is more your thing, like you like the trousers and you like this vibe, it's actually a super cute feminine way, I think, of doing a jumpsuit. Um, and I do kind of like it. I'd be semi-tempted to keep it, but I just know that I wouldn't realistically wear it. I think I'm going mad because I honestly thought that this was a mini dress when I ordered it. Like when I unpacked it, I was totally expecting this to be short. And then I was like, oh my God, I think um, and other stories have used this fabric in a few different pieces. So maybe I got confused or I ordered the wrong thing by accident. But anyway, this is it and I hate it. I'm not gonna lie, I hate it. Oh, I just do not think it's nice at all. Well, actually that's not true. I think it's quite nice. I just despise it on me. I think it does nothing for me. I think it just makes me look really bad. I wouldn't actually say that it was an ugly dress. I do think it's pretty. I like the pattern. The fabric is really lovely. It kind of feels a little bit silky. I just checked and it is synthetic fibers, although it feels so nice. Like it honestly feels like it could be a silk blend and it has this beautiful, like light, tiny, subtle sheen. It's actually really gorgeous fabric and the pattern is nice, maybe a little bit bright for me. It has a lovely ruched bust, which you know I've been loving recently and really cute sleeves as well with this little drawstring tie on the edge. Like it is cute. This dress just does nothing for me personally. Like we've had this conversation earlier on in the week. There's different ages and body types and there's something that does something for everyone. And this dress just happens to not not do it for me. <laughs> okay, so this dress was a little bit of a wild card and I know so many people will think that this is hideous and absolutely hate it and think I've gone bananas, but I actually love it so much. So as you guys know, like in winter, I very much have like one element to my style and that's it, that's why winter is so boring. But in spring, summer, I'm actually very multifaceted. Sometimes I like to go like preppy or 60s retro vibe. Sometimes I like to go ultra girly and like princessy. But then I also absolutely love the luxe boho look as you know and this for me is like the ultimate in that this to me looks like it came ready to wear from Chloe like this is literally Chloe tell me if you disagree um and I just love it so much I get that it's a little bit unusual it's a tiny bit out there even though it's quite simple but I just really think it has the high-end fashion look I think the fabric is gorgeous it's just a lyocell polyester blend but it looks like silk it feels gorgeous it's so soft same as the last dress it has a really very subtle sheen on the fabric like it's not shimmery it's not like satin it's very very subtle like just when it catches the light which i think makes it look so expensive and luxurious the shape is a bit odd because it's very wide and it kind of just hangs there like a little bit nightgowny and it's got this dropped waist with the hem to be honest in terms of like the fit i'm describing everything that i usually hate but for some reason on this dress it's just working it's got these half length bell sleeves, a bow at the top, and ultimately it's Chloe. It's just Chloe. It is luxe, boho chic. It's effortlessly cool, but feminine. It kind of makes a bit of a statement, but in a really easygoing, relaxed way. What can I say? I absolutely love it. And then the last look for today is another simple classic, which I think is paying off a lot more than the brown one. This to me is the perfect example of a less is more dress when simplicity really pays off. It's so understated but I think it looks so chic and elegant. It's a linen dress, it might be a linen blend. They also had this in blue which I was tempted to get just to show you guys something other than white but at the end of the day I always think white just looks so classic and timeless. We all know by now it's not about the LBD, it's about the LWD and this is the perfect example. For a mini dress this is perfect. I do always find that lengths at under the stories are really really good. Same as Abercrombie, um, sadly not the same as Zara. It's a really flattering fit and shape and cut. I just like this so much and I just can't believe I've fallen in love with yet another white spring summer dress. <laughs>
And so that brings us to the end of the And Other Stories haul. It was very, very successful. It was actually a lot better than I was expecting. So many of these pieces surprised me, including this dress and basically, obviously, all of the white things. I'm so predictable. But oh my gosh, guys, the applique dress, just heavenly. The little white linen midi dress with the fluttery sleeves. I absolutely loved that. And the Chloe dress. I truly think this is spectacular. And of course, we can't forget the blue. I really need to know your thoughts on the blue immediately as a matter of urgency. Agency. I'm so intrigued to see what you guys thought about this. And so guys, that also brings us to the end of the spring fashion edit for this year or does it? Oh my god, how exciting guys, but I've actually decided to do an extra video this week, but you will have to wait until tomorrow to find out the brand. Thank you so, so much for watching as always, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!